The latest on incidents related to violent clashes between white supremacist groups and counter-protesters in Charlottesville, VA, that left three dead all times local 10.15 a.m. Federal law enforcement authorities have started a civil rights investigation into a deadly car crash in Charlottesville that left one protester dead and several others injured. The FBI said in a statement late Saturday that it is collecting facts and evidence in an ongoing investigation. Heather Heyer died when a car rammed into a group of people who were protesting the presence of white supremacists who had gathered in the city for a rally. The car's driver, James Alex Fields Jr., was charged with second-degree murder and other counts. He could also face federal charges, depending on the outcome of the FBI's investigation, 930 a.m. Charlottesville Mayor Mike Siner called the killing of a 32-year-old woman and the injury of others by a vehicle at a rally in the city a terrorist attack with a car used as a weapon. He made the comments in an interview Sunday with NBC's Meet the Press. Heather Heyer died when a car rammed into a group of people who were protesting the presence of white supremacists who had gathered in the city for a rally. The car's driver, James Alex Fields Jr., was charged with second-degree murder and other counts. The rally's purpose was to condemn a decision by the city to remove a statue of Confederate Gen. Robert E. Lee, 723 A.M. Virginia Gubb, Terry McAuliffe will visit two Charlottesville churches and speak to congregants following violent clashes in the city between white supremacist groups and counter-protesters that left three dead. The governor's office says in a release that Lieutenant Governor Ralph Northam will join McAuliffe at both Sunday services. McAuliffe and Northam are scheduled to visit Mount Zion First African Baptist Church and First Baptist Church. Three were killed and dozens were injured amid what is believed to be the largest group of white nationalists to come together in a decade to protest the city's decision to remove a Confederate monument. A car rammed into a crowd of protesters, killing a 32-year-old woman, and a state police helicopter crashed into the woods, leaving two troopers on board dead. President Donald Trump criticized the violence and called for a return to law and order. But his critics say his racializing rhetoric has exacerbated the nation's political tensions and emboldened racists. 221 a.m. The mayor of Charlottesville blamed the nation's intensifying political divisions for the violent clashes between white supremacist groups and counter-protesters that left three dead. Mayor Michael Siner on Saturday bemoaned the very sad and regrettable coarseness in our politics. Three were killed and dozens were injured amid what is believed to be the largest group of white nationalists to come together in a decade to protest the city's decision to remove a Confederate monument. A car rammed into a crowd of protesters, killing a 32-year-old woman, and a state police helicopter crashed into the woods, leaving two troopers on board dead. President Donald Trump criticized the violence and called for a return to law and order but his critics say his racializing rhetoric has exacerbated the nation's political tensions and emboldened racists. This story corrects the name of the church in the second entry to First Baptist Church.